our today's topic in course uh, milling of cereals fst 703 is wheat grains grades and grading as we are aware that grading is very important in terms of wheat maize or any crop or any cereals these grains grades are important for grains because these are very important for buyers and sellers with grades of different grains the buyer can know the quality of uh, different grains and if the grade is higher then the buyer can pay more money and can get value for money while the seller of the wheat can tell the buyer that the quality of the grain is of higher grade so in such case this is good for buyer and seller similarly grading is a process in which we measure different specification of a specific product so to grade different grains different methods are used so for wheat grading there are four different criteria which are used first is physical method second is chemical method third is sensory method and fourth is qualitative method in physical method mostly the physical properties of grains are keeping in mind uh, for example the size of kernel of grain the weight of grain or other color of grain so these are all the physical methods which are used for measuring different grades similarly in chemical methods different chemical uh, analysis are carried out to know the for example protein content or starch content of grains on on the basis of the uh, those chemical composition of those grains uh, we can divide different wheat grains into different grades similarly sensory method can be applied uh, by um, comparing different colors of grains as in physical method also th these criteria can be used but in sensory method not only color but uh, flavor or taste uh, can also be used these are sensory methods in which the grading can be done the fourth criteria is qualitative method in which the quality of the grain is tested against the other uh, grains which are the standards and on the basis of those grades the grading method can be identified just like a b c d or something like that so now the question is what information we derive from wheat grading wheat grading can result in the getting characteristic information of different product for and, and it also depends on the different uh, uses of that grain for example for which purpose the grains are used if we are using grains for flour then the grading method will be different if we are using for cake preparation then it will be a different method because in every uh, products we are keeping in mind different uh, different objectives or different uh, chemical compositions for example in in flour we need gluten to get a good quality of dough while in cake making or in some other products in bakery products we need some other specification for uh, uh, that uh, green grains therefore the grade should be of different nature similarly grading can 
uh, result in a good quality or uh, uh, for buyers and sellers and that permit buyer and seller of the wheat to to get the product without physically inspecting that product because uh, if uh, there is uh, the product is graded in different criteria then uh, the seller can just tell the buyer the the grade of that qualitative grade of that product and he can buy without any hesitation otherwise he will have to see the physical inspection with through physical inspection it also promotes the efficiency in production and marketing system because if you have grading facility then there will be uh, the marketing of that product will be really very easy and uh, it will also efficiently um, improve the production because uh, uh, the promo the production can be promoted if it is marketed properly similarly the producer can get the proper return of their product now what are what are the practices in pakistan so before some time grading practice in pakistan was faq system or fac system of grading that is standard for fair average quality the the the, the stands the uh, abbreviation for uh, fac is fair average quality and uh, in this system samples are collected from districts and then a committee do grading of samples at grade a b c and then the price of that product is uh, mentioned on the basis of the grades but system is not valid at present day because there are there are so many wheat products now there are wheat wheat varieties which are used for different uh, nature of products so now it is very difficult to 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 use fair average quality for for that uh, wheat products so now this method fake system is not valid now the question is what are the other method which we'll be explaining after a while there are some disadvantages two of which have been mentioned but the third one is that now harvesting and threshing methods have also been changed and uh, there is no standard procedure for this system and the last one is that the committee for imp implementation of uh, fair average quality system is revised every year therefore there is no consistency in the product and the, its functioning now there are two different agencies which are uh, pursuing the grading system in pakistan one is uh, pasco uh, and the other is government agencies other government agencies criteria for these systems are there are certain limits they have identified and these these limits are these are the tolerance limits for different impurities for example there should the the limit of dust and dirt should be 0.5% and if it reaches to 1% then the product should be rejected or the wheat should be rejected similarly if uh, seeds of other crops are more than 3% then it is above the tolerance level level and if it is above 5% then it should be rejected similarly the damaged and shriveled kernels or grains should be not more than 3% and if it is over 5% then it should be rejected similarly <clears throat> for we will damage grains 0% is for when the product or the wheat is in evaluated in august if it is evaluated in september or october then it should be 0.5% in november and december it should be 1% while after january it can be up to 1.5% for moisture content the tolerance limit is 10% and if it is more than 11% then it should be 10% it should if it is 11% or above 
then it should be rejected and uh, the reason for this is that <coughs> moisture content is very important in terms of wheat if moisture content is more then it, there are chances of growth of fungi which result in uh, the production of toxin which is very dangerous for human consumption <coughs> now question is <coughs> <clears throat> that what are the basis of this wheat grading there are different criteria for moisture content there are three different grades grade 1 grade 2 grade 3 which depends upon on the moisture level good good uh, moisture level should be up to 9% and if it is between 9 and 10 then it is grade 2 and if it is if it is more than 10% then it is grade 3 similarly for weight grade 1 should have 76 kg for HL and grade 2 should be 74 to 70 kg per hectoliter and grade 3 should should be 72 to 74 kg per hectoliter this is criteria for test weight <coughs> for foreign matters grade 1 should have 0.5 percent for grade 2 it should be between 0.5 to 1 percent and for grade 3 it should be 1 to 1.5 percent similarly for broken and shriveled grains grade 1 up to 2 percent for grade 2 it should be 2 to 3 percent and for grade 3 it should be 3 to 5 percent criteria number 5 is other food grains for grade 1 or premium quality should have 1.5 percent not more than 1.5 percent of other grains number 2 have more than 1.5 to 3 percent and number 3 have 3 to 5 percent Similarly, damage grain have also some criteria which you can see here and the prices of those grades is on the basis of their quality. For example, the grade 2 should have 2% less than the price of grade 1. Similarly, grade 3 should have price 5% less than the grade 1 these are the different uh, united states department of agriculture official grades of wheat you can see the different figures regarding weight heat damaged total damages foreign material shrunken kernel and broken kernel there are different criteria for grades which are from one to five so you can see those figures and you can see the different in uh, different criteria and parameters of those products on the basis of which different grades have been identified <clears throat>